The Canadian Human Rights Tribunal has just released its full decision on compensation for First Nations child welfare. Now, a few months ago, the tribunal rejected the financial settlement agreement between Canada and the Assembly of First Nations. And two weeks ago, chiefs signed a resolution that the AFN work out a deal with Canada. We're now joined by Cindy Blackstock, the executive director of the First Nations Child and Family Caring Society. Cindy, thanks so much for joining us here on the show. The tribunal's full decision on compensation was just released earlier this week. You have described the decision as striking. Why is that? Well, because I think it really makes a strong evidentiary case for making sure that once the tribunal recognizes that people have suffered from discrimination, as they did in this case, they actually called that suffering egregious, Daryl, that and they award compensation. They said, we're, we're not going to um, change that unless there's evidence that comes forward that says that these people did not suffer or suffered less. And that didn't happen in this case. So they really stepped up to the plate to make sure that those victims who had suffered at the hands of Canada do get the $40,000 plus interest that they are already legally entitled to. Now, Cindy, one point made in this decision is that Canada's cap of $20 billion is at fault. C can you explain this for us and, and what it means for the victims? Sure. When you think, hear the number $20 billion, you think, wow, that's a lot of money. And it is. Um, but keep in mind that Canada hurt so many people over such a long period of time that when you break it down to an individual level, it actually turns out to not be an extraordinary amount. And when Canada capped that final settlement agreement at 20 billion and included a lot more people, it turned out to not be enough money. And the tribunal said, Canada can't pay, play that kind of legal game to try and protect itself. It already hurt these victims. It owes these victims the money and it should be paying that amount, even if it's more than $20 billion. Well, so could this decision impact the resolution that was signed by the chiefs? Um, I think that it actually gives effect to that resolution because what the chiefs have said is that those persons who are already legally entitled to their $40,000 plus interest should get it. And we should also compensate uh, more people and uh, if we can give those folks uh, from the tribunal decision even more than the 40,000 when their suffering has been greater. So I think this is right in line with what the chiefs have passed in December. And Cindy, given everything that's happened and everything that you had just said, where do you go from here? What, what happens next in this? Yeah, it's a good question. Well, one of the things that comes out for big criticism in that decision is that Canada, in its communication with uh, victims who are entitled to this $40,000, uh, really weren't t saying, whoops, well, some of you actually are not going to get anything under this final settlement agreement, and the, some of you are going to get less. So it calls on Canada to tell the truth to victims, because that's the least that they owe them after everything they did. So what I'm hoping will happen is that that final settlement agreement will be amended, that Canada will put in more money so that all the victims who are legally entitled to $40,000 plus interest, Daryl, they get their money. And not only do they get the money, they get access to the supports for their wellness. These people have suffered unbelievable harms. We can't forget that. Their families were separated. Some of the children died as a result of, uh, of being denied services. And families, um, you know, we're taken apart. So Canada has to pay the money and it's Canada that is holding things up. And I would like to see Canada drop its legal fights against First Nations kids and get to work in honoring their obligations to them. Well, certainly a lot to think about, Cindy. We really appreciate you coming on. Thanks for this. Hey, thanks, Daryl.